Hi, Eric here with 30 by 40 Design Workshop. Today I'm going to be talking about channel glass. Heavy commercial and industrial projects often provide fodder for my residential work, especially when it comes to materials. Channel glass is one material that carries over well. It's an eminently robust material whose translucency lends a soft and welcoming feel in a residential setting. Consider channel glass a sort of modern take on traditional stained glass, luminous and mysterious. While it's an outwardly simple and beautiful material, it has an underlying complexity that bears further investigation. So what is it? Channel glass was developed in Europe and it's been mostly used in commercial buildings for more than 30 years. Essentially, it's a structural, cast, translucent plank named for its C-shape, which in our architectural parlance is a channel. It's typically used where there's a need for both diffused natural light and privacy, which are naturally competing design agendas. The channels are between 9 inches and 19 inches wide, about 2.5 inches deep, and up to 23 feet in length. They're fully capable of supporting their own weight without the need for other horizontal reinforcement. Most often, channel glass is used in vertical orientations, where the structural planks lend a corduroy or pinstripe look to an exterior facade. Unlike traditional float glass panes, the shape and depth of the channel glass create a pocket in exterior walls, making it ideal for adding insulation. Composition. The basic components are lime, soda, and sand. But unlike most other glass, channel glass also contains recycled glass. In fact, a full 60% of its raw materials are recycled. Some come from post-consumer sources and some from the factory that manufactures it. The channels are roll formed from a roughly quarter inch thick ribbon of molten glass that has been heated in a special furnace. It's then carefully cut to custom length and cooled. So what are the applications? Well, there's many possible applications for channel glass. The best candidates are spaces that require both natural daylight and privacy. Some examples are bathing spaces for privacy with the benefits of natural light, work areas, studies, and studios where glare-free natural light is important, art display and gallery areas, UV coatings allow daylight and artwork to coexist, urban sites with competing light and view concerns, trombe walls for passive solar heating, railings, space dividers and privacy screens, and any space requiring diffused, glare-free natural light. Museum quality daylight. Because of its manufacturing process, translucent channel glass provides interiors with an evenly diffused light without shadows or hot spots. In fact, the daylighting properties of channel glass were one of the main reasons it was selected by Stephen Hall for the recent addition to the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art in Kansas City. Its exterior is draped almost entirely in channel glass. There, Hall created a series of lenses that permit daylight to wash the subterranean gallery spaces. Special treatments on the channel glass on the exterior walls inhibit the transmission of damaging UV rays to the interior spaces and ensure an evenly diffused white light naturally illuminates the artwork. This type of glare-free diffused natural light is an excellent fit for the home, too. Exterior use. Because it's a resilient material, channel glass can be used in both interior and exterior applications. For exterior use, it's typically installed in a double glazed configuration with one interior facing and one exterior facing channel. Many of the standard limitations of plate glass regarding size and span capabilities don't apply to channel glass because of the structural qualities the shape imparts. The channels are suited to vertical spans up to 23 feet in length, which exceeds a typical two-story eave height. And with unbroken horizontal spans exceeding 500 feet, channel glass creates the possibility of cladding entire structures in glass. For exterior use, the edges of the channels are captured and attached to the building with an aluminum or steel frame, what architects typically call a storefront or curtain wall system. The subframe that captures the upper, lower, and perimeter edges of the channels is visible here. This subframe is necessary to keep water out and direct it to the exterior wall system. Horizontal configurations lend themselves to harvesting the sun in a unique way if they're paired with the right glass type. One of the major suppliers of channel glass, Bentheim, has developed a type of glass called prismasolar, which has deeply cut V-shaped prismatic flutes. The flutes are turned to allow low-angle winter solar radiation into the building while keeping the heat from the high-angle summer sun out. Thermal performance. Because standard glass insulation values are quite low, hovering around R2, improving the thermal characteristics is a must for any exterior wall use. There are several ways to accomplish this. Special coatings on the glass are a good first step. These coatings can be chosen for their desired effect, to reflect heat energy back into the building on the interior, and to reduce the amount of solar heat gain being absorbed by the building from the exterior. Translucent glass, by nature, actually acts as a shading device in the intense afternoon sun, lowering the transmission of heat energy into a structure. 
Another even more efficient way of increasing the thermal properties is to add an interior blanket of translucent light diffusing insulation between the glass channels. This way the system can reach close to an R5. The insulation also aids in light diffusion, limits heat gain, limits sound transmission, and slows vapor transmission. Interior use. The self-supporting nature of glass channel planks means this glass lends itself to some wonderfully expressive applications indoors too, and the great variety of finishes and colors available make it ripe for experimentation. The clear vertical span of the channel glass separating the stair run in this space would typically require intermediate structural support framing for any other glazing option. But the channel shape and thickness allow the glass to span levels as a single piece. Insulation can also be added on interior double glazed walls to boost a wall's sound and light diffusing properties. A freestanding partition here separates the bathing space from the vanity. No special finishing was required of the channels other than tempering the glass for bathroom application. Interior partitions offer a great opportunity to rethink long-held ideas about glass being a solely planar material for which curves are usually out of the question. With channel glass, which uses a narrow module, the sections can be interlocked and staggered to conform to serpentine curves easily. The moire pattern effect with channel glazing is subtle, but quite beautiful, making the glass a perfect complement for a stair guard that changes as one passes by. Color options. Standard glass contains iron, which aids in lowering the melting point of glass, but gives it a greenish cast. If you're looking for a clearer or wetter glass, you can specify low iron glass, or consider tinted backlit channel glass for even greater color control. Texture. A range of texture can be specified, and each manufacturer has different names for their textures. Standard is usually dimpled or orange peeled like surface. Netted has a small net like grid. Ribbed is thin ribs. Fluted has round ridges. Clear, this is because it's cast and not a float glass product, it won't appear optically clear. There is sandblasted, which is a frosted look for higher light diffusion. The degree of opacity can be controlled with sandblasting and acid etched, a less expensive option than sandblasted, but similar in appearance. Sustainability. The manufacturing of standard glass is by nature extremely energy intensive, but it takes just half of the energy to produce glass from cullet, which is recycled glass, as it does to produce it from raw materials. Channel glass boasts 60% recycled content, 20% from factory waste, and 40% from post-consumer waste. Channel glass can contribute lead points in several categories due to its high recycled content and daylighting contribution to interior spaces. It also bears mentioning that the factories for channel glass are located in Europe, which means shipping to countries outside of Europe will contribute to the product's already substantial carbon footprint. Other special considerations, solar heat gain. Beyond treating the glazing itself, solar gain should be planned for during design because overheating can be a problem on south and west facing walls in the northern hemisphere. Shading devices, interior and exterior, and an appropriate ventilation system are worth considering. Next, hurricane glazing. For areas prone to hurricanes, Pilkington offers a hurricane-rated channel glazing system. Next is wind loading. Special consideration should be given to spans and related wind loads. It's recommended that you rely on a good engineer to help you with your design. Cost. Because of the wide range of options and configurations, cost can be hard to quantify. A good guideline is to assume a 20% premium over the cost of standard wall construction. A double glazed tempered exterior wall system ranges from $65 to $75 per square foot for a material cost. A single glazed wall would be half the cost. Of course, this depends on the exact options selected. To add insulation, plan on an additional $14 to $20 per square foot. While this certainly isn't the most affordable way to dress the exterior of your home, the upfront cost can be offset by other factors, such as the added daylight, which can lower artificial lighting costs, not to mention the intangible effects of natural light on daily life. It can also reduce the need for window coverings, draperies, and shades due to its naturally shaded surface. And glass exterior walls require virtually no maintenance. So now manufacturers. There's two primary distributors for channel glass in the United States. Bentheim Wall Systems, which distributes Lambert's Linet Channel Glass, and Technical Glass Products, TGP, which distributes Pilkington Profilet. Each manufacturer has proprietary systems available for connecting the channel glass to the underlying structures, as well as an array of finishes, colors, and textures to choose from. The material itself, as I said, has been manufactured in Europe for more than 30 years. These manufacturers have specialized knowledge and experience to aid you in the best design practices for your particular situation. They do stock quantities of channel glass in the U.S., 
but special orders require a longer, usually 12 week or more lead time. So let's review the advantages. Natural light, it lowers artificial lighting loads. Privacy, it allows for light in private spaces. Structural, it's self-supporting, uninterrupted spans without intermediate supports. It's R value, with the right coatings and insulation much higher than standard glass. And near zero maintenance. The disadvantages are cost, it's 20% more than a standard wall. It's thermal performance, lower than a standard wall. It has a substantial carbon footprint. It ships from Europe and it has high embodied energy costs. And heat management. You have to carefully regulate large glazed areas.